I'm Zach Elmblad, and I'm a pretty average painter. I haven't painted much at all in the last few years, but I can't say that I'm new to the practice. One thing that I can say I'm new to, though, is acrylic painting. I bought a set of acrylics a few years ago, and I didn't really get to use them that much. So I figured I'd use them for this new project. But first, here's some examples of my oil style. This is the Cupcake Castle from a story I'm developing about a princess and her two pets, Toby and Chuck. I made these two drawings before I started the painting. I'm using a pre-coated 11 by 14 canvas panel that I got from Blick in Chicago. Blick has stores all over the place, and they're probably the best art supply website around. For a medium, I'll be using a blue tempera cake. Tempera makes for good sketching, and it's super cheap. I'm going to make this sketch with a wash brush. Uh, this is a Chinese style. It can make a wide variety of strokes. The bristles are pretty long, and uh, it has a pretty good, like, moppy feel to it. So it, it keeps your sketches nice and loose, and it can move a lot of water or pigment wherever it needs to go. My work table is a sheet of refrigerator shelf glass gaff taped onto the top of a flat file I got from a school that closed. I've got a collection of brushes on the top shelf, and the acrylics are on the next shelf down. This is a 48 color set of Liquitex Basics. It's nice to start out with such a full palette, and the acrylic is definitely a lot cheaper than oil. With these smaller tubes, I can sample colors I like and buy bigger tubes when I need them. What makes tempera great for sketching on gesso is that if you work fast, you can just take a damp rag and wipe it all away. I use a lot of wet and wet blending techniques, mostly because that's how I learned with oils. You can do this with acrylic to a certain extent, but you really have to take a more layered approach. This approach is new to me in painting, but I've been doing a lot of vector graphics type stuff lately, and I'm starting to get the hang of thinking that way.
Coming into the end here, I just want to do a bit of detail work on a few more spots. I wanted to add a bit of depth to the cherry, bulk up the clouds a little bit, and make the road brown instead of gray. And that should just about finish it up. Here's the final product. Not too bad for a few hours of painting. Most importantly though, it was a good time and a good problem solving exercise. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned at least one thing. For me, I think I'm gonna stick to oils. It just seems to work better for me. But for something that needs to go quickly and over a long period of time in, in short bursts, Acrylic is definitely pretty awesome because it dries a thousand times faster than oil. That can also sort of be a problem since I really like the wet and wet mixing techniques and acrylic just doesn't match the blending capabilities of oil. So I'll probably continue to experiment a little bit with acrylic, but I'm an oil painter. I'll see you next time. Take care.